Disney Transportation is taking me to my first Disney park since April. Tonight we're heading to Epcot. In just a few minutes, we'll be arriving at Epcot. We're glad you've chosen to stay with us as a Walt Disney World Resort guest. back at Epcot Center, Orlando, Florida for the 2018 Food and Wine Festival and I couldn't be more happy than I am right now. I can tell you for sure I'm not going to be having any tea. I will have some fruit, definitely a burger. I will visit Paris. I'm going to have some wine. No seafood, thank you. I'll try to have some ham, no vegetables. Here at the Epcot International Food and Wine Festival. And I'm definitely going to ride some Spaceship Earth. Most of this water you see right here, well, it comes off the top of Spaceship Earth when it's raining. I know, I know, it's not raining right now, but when it does rain, that water collects on the top of Spaceship Earth, comes down through a special filtration system, it goes into all these fountains here around Epcot Center. It doesn't get any more picture perfect than Spaceship Earth. I know, it's like I'm talking about a pretty girl or something. I'm just talking about a building. The Fountains of Nation in between Future World and World Showcase here at Epcot is also another object that takes the water from the top of Spaceship Earth when it's raining. So that's cool, but you know what's also cool? The Fountain of Nations is right across this pathway from my first stop on every Epcot trip. We're talking about Club Cool Baby. And the first step is always for the Beverly. That's bitter flavor, popular non-alcoholic. Uh, it will always be dentist office mixed with gasoline. Always. Club Cool is sponsored by the Coca-Cola company and features different sodas from around the world. You can also try sodas from Greece, Japan, Thailand, Italy, Brazil, South Africa. Right here at the Club Cool. The Coca-Cola place. And right outside of Club Cool is the place where I go get my annual pass holder magnet, which I'm excited for. I love coming in this building because it right here is basically the history of Epcot. When it was first spoken of, imagined if you will, back in 1965. And all the steps of getting this amazing place off the drawing pad and into Central Florida. Bringing us all the way here to 2016, but last year was the 35th anniversary of Epcot, so I don't know why 2017 isn't on this chart. I was misinformed, the festival center is actually over this way, which I'm psyched because we're about to go into a building which I've only been in once, be once before. And it's a pretty important building here at Epcot. No, the festival center is right in that building right over there, which was the former Wonders of Life building, which held Body Wars and Captain Cranium and it was all about health and fitness and eating well with vegetables and so I never came inside this building when it was operational as a like a ride facility. I did come in here last year for the Food and Wine Festival. It's a fantastic looking building. I'm glad that they didn't uh, break it down for the Guardians of the Galaxy. That's the magnet I need to pick up right there. Inside the One is a Life Pavilion. I'm seeing plenty of wine, but not too much food. All kinds of fun pass holder merch out here at the International Food and Wine Festival. I always buy a pass holder shirt when I come out to these special events. So I'm thinking this is definitely the shirt that's going home with me this week. Yeah, I mean, check out the front of that shirt. That's definitely going home with me. I'm gonna try this like waffle, waffle this waffle yeah. ale. Do you want your receipt back, sir? No, is it awful or is it waffle? It's waffle. I've actually tried it, and out of these three beers, I would actually drink it. Yeah, you like that? Yeah, I don't like beers, but I can do the waffle ale. There you go. Cheers. Okay, so cheers. Man, this waffle beer <laughs> tastes just like syrup, but it's like syrup beer, like maple syrup and beer. I like it. I can drink this for breakfast. I know, you don't have to blast me in the comments. I did realize I have the, the little pinky out while I'm drinking this little dinky beer. These, uh, this maple, man. 
Come try this. I found what I am looking for. So today I get a fancy magnet, and then what, day five I get a cutting board? Day four. Day four? And check it out, these are those cutting boards I was telling you about. So annual pass holders. You guys know the tip, you don't put this on your car, especially when you go to a Disney park, it's gonna get ripped off. Just put it on a trash can while you drink a beer, and when you get home, put it on your refrigerator. I'm so glad that they still utilize this building. I mean, just check out these windows. I mean, totally beautiful. This, this building is very cool on the inside. Plenty of space. I mean, why keep it closed for the whole year? All I can say is we're lucky that they bring it back at least once a year for the International Food and Wine Festival. I think they've had it open for past years in the Flower and Garden Festival. What a building. Off to the next place. I was like standing here and just checking out that waterfall, the water actually falling upwards instead of downwards, right outside the Imagination Pavilion. This is a original 1982 Epcot building, although the ride inside has changed dramatically since opening. There's no more Dreamfinder in here. Figment is still here, but uh, no more Dreamfinder, which is a shame. I try to always keep it family friendly, but Food and Wine Festival is a whole entire different monster. It's gonna be a little bit looser of an episode, if you know what I mean. Let's see what's shaking, like a maraca, here in Mexico. You know, I'm a big fan of the Polynesia and Moana. What do they got over here for the islands of the Caribbean? What are these tasty looking things? That's the empanada and that's the chicken lollipop. Chicken lollipop? Does it taste like candy? I'll take a red stripe, please. Thank you. Got a red stripe here in the Caribbeans. Cheers. Did I just say Caribbeans? I think it's a Caribbean. Put another shrimp on the bobby, Mickey. Digging that shish kebab and uh, the big old ear of corn. Hawaii. Mahala. The pork sliders do look delicious. And I do like Maui Brewing Company Bikini Blonde Lager, so. This beer is delicious. Oh, you might notice I'm wearing a different color shirt from yesterday. Well. Oh. It's a different day. I'm just gonna end up putting two videos into one video for the Food and Wine Festival. It just makes sense, right? So if you haven't been to Food and Wine Festival, basically what you do is walk around World Showcase and drink shot glasses worth of beer. And there's a lot of them. There's always 11 countries out here at Epcot, but during Food and Wine Festival, they add about, I think, 100 more. So 
in between all the countries are all these little cool kiosks which serve their nation's beer and of course their food. For instance, Australia's never here. I wonder what they got on tap. What do I get? Maybe the Cooper's Brewery Original Pale Ale? That's what I'm gonna do. What are these things over here? What is it? Lamb? Lamb chops. Just got the Coopers in Australia behind me. It's a pale ale. It's good. So you feel like you're drinking for free out here because every time you get one of these beers, you just put your magic band against, you know, the kiosk. And you don't have to pull any money or credit card out of your wallet, but it just goes on to your, on your room tab at your Disney Resort. It adds up. They're $4 a piece. I forget, did I get something in Hawaii? Uh, we'll circle back. Welcome to Canada. Hey, right over here, we got official 12 ounce pours of the moose head, which is a lot better than those four ounce things, six ounce, whatever they're selling out here for $4. That thing looks pretty interesting as well. The yeah, how is that? That's big. No, well, is it frozen or no? It's frozen like a slushie. Yeah. So it's got blueberry flavor, but it's not like an artificial blueberry. And it's just nice and cold. Go Red Sox. See you guys tonight. <laughs> oh, come on. We're going to beat you in four games. It's going to be over before Halloween. Four games. So this uh, is definitely going to cool down my body temperature. Nice. Oh, yeah. This tastes just like a grape slushie. It's got vodka in it, which makes it extra great. Or should I say extra blueberry? Or should I say extra grape? Wait. This is blueberry. Canada, I do love you. But keep in mind, I am a Boston Bruins fan. All right, I wonder what Ireland has to uh, quench our thirst in our palate. Forget that line. I'm going right over here to one of the best bars here at Epcot. Alice is not in Wonderland at the moment. Right now she is in Epcot Center at the United Kingdom Pavilion. Right outside the Rose and Crown. I stepped inside the Rose and Crown and got myself a side of chips and a harp. Anything else you guys? A couple Irish car bombs, nice. One is extinct, and the other one I wish was. Like I said in past detours, I wear the glasses even after the sun goes down because well, the camera is right over here, but the screen is over here, so my eyes are looking this way. So this avoids all the awkward eye movement. What does France have here on this menu that's worth waiting in this line for? Don't know, not gonna find out. Love you, France. My grandmother's from there, so I have French in me. Whoever was painting this was painting this exact tree, that exact corner, that exact post, and those trees out in the distance. By itself, I can't control anything. It is pretty picture perfect, though, isn't it? 
one day, I'll go inside there and eat. It's like kind of fancy. You need a reservation and all. Just get walking off the street and get some uh, some French bread. That's what I really would want. By the way, France is one of those places that is here 365 days a year here at Epcot. It's not one of the kiosks that I spoke about earlier. This, this pavilion's here for forever. Ladies, I heard you have some good sake up in here. You got some cold sake? What? Okay, and that's the driest? Yeah. The driest sake, and it's cold? It is cold. I'm ready for it. Like I said, it's like you're drinking for free. Just put this thing down on the keypad. How do you say what? Thank you, in Osaka. And what's the answer? Hakini. Hakini? Okini? Okini for the sake. About to head into one of my favorite pavilions just for the architecture and because I love the Kaza beer. I'm really hoping my favorite bartender Daniel's here tonight. It's been a few months. So my friend Daniel's not working tonight, but I still stopped into Morocco and got the Kaza beer, which is by Maybe my favorite beer here at Epcot, to tell you the truth. By the power of editing, my buddy Daniel is here. He wasn't here last night, but he's coming through correct right now with some Jaeger. There you go. Cheers, Daniel. Good to see you. I switched from the Casa to the Amaza here in Morocco. My second favorite beer, other than the Casa. I always enjoy walking through the Indiana Jones Marketplace and enjoying a casa while I'm here. This place is like straight out of Aladdin too, right? Prince Ali, fabulous he, oh yeah, Bob, wow. Strong as 10 regular men, definitely. This room is so cool. Especially if you're in here by yourself. I heard here that they brought in real architecture specialists from Morocco and they built this like by hand with the tiles had to be like corrected the way they would have built a room like this in Morocco. I mean, that's like the non-Wikipedia version of the story, but that's pretty much how it went. My mother bought me one of these when I was down here uh, two years ago with them for the same festival. And I've been lighting incense in my house pretty much every night since then. Especially if you get a good variety of incense. I mean, you can get some good stuff from like Spencer's at the mall or I get the, this hippy dippy place in my mall in, near Framingham, Massachusetts. But, uh, you know, this place is good too. You get these little cones here that you can burn and they just burn off the cone. Where those are the sticks, the incense sticks. That's what I tend to burn. I really do love Morocco, but it's time for me to give a little bit 
more love to some other countries here at Epcot. Again, I'm still here four more nights after this, and we'll definitely be back to the Morocco Pavilion. Looky what we got here tonight. A little Kenny G action. I feel like I'm watching Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood going into the land of make-believe with that trolley right there. Right? Going over the bridge as the other one was coming in the background. That was, that was That's a good photo, man. That was a good photo. Sure was. Oh, look who we got here. Miss Snow White. Oh, don't worry. We'll be coming back to Germany tonight after I take that dip in the pool. Celebrate a little Oktoberfest. Ladders and kegs. Probably not a good combination. I mean, I'm not going to come all the way to Florida, stay at a Disney hotel, and not use the amenities, right? Especially with my boy Baloo, who's right behind me. I have to go back to Epcot for one more thing. Please stand clear of the doors. Por favor, manténganse alejado de la puerta. out here for one thing at the Epcot International Food and Wine Festival. Tonight I'm here to pick up a pass holder privilege. Well, I am due for a free cutting board. There he is. He's got a whole bunch yep. of cutting boards. Alright. Let's see if I'm eligible. Derek. That's me. You're getting it. Now we know you got it, buddy. Thank you, my friend. Alright, enjoy it. So this is what I came back for. I mean, the waffle beer is good too, but I came back for this annual pass holder uh, cutting board. It's really not that huge. It's about the size of, I don't know, an iPad mini or something like that. It fits in my fanny pack, a.k.a. my <laughs> Indiana Jones satchel. So I got that going for me, and that's nice. Totally fits. I feel like I don't give the American Pavilion as much love as I should. Except, you know, we're here in Orlando, Florida, and that's in America. But, uh, I'm not forgetting about you, America. I still love you. But I do like checking out the 10 other countries here at Epcot Center while I'm, you know, drinking around the world. And it also looks just like Faneuil Hall in Boston, Massachusetts, where I'm from. So it's kind of like I'm at my hometown. I see that enough. It's confirmed. It's Kenny G. And he's playing the theme song from the movie Titanic. From Celine Dion. On the saxophone. I'll, I'll stop talking. We're in Italy right now, the home of my favorite piece of food out here at Epcot Center. And I hope this place is still open. I'm into Italian food, and this is the best walk-up pizzeria that I think is in America. 
Oh my gosh, guys, I waited like 25 minutes for these two slices of pizza and a beer. But, in that defense, I've been waiting for this place to open the last two years because this is my favorite walk-up place at Epcot. It's been closed the last two years. It's just the line today is longer than it's ever been, which means that the pizza deserves that line. It's definitely worth the price and the time in line. I ate one slice of pizza. Didn't even start that Maroni draft. As promised, I stepped back into Germany to celebrate a little bit of Oktoberfest here at Epcot Center. Dang right, it's Oktoberfest. In fact, it's Oktoberfest 365 days a year here at Epcot. Unless, of course, it's closed due to a hurricane. I'm about to butcher this name, but I'll take the Schaffer Hoffer <laughs> Grapefruit Beer. Did I do good? That's $9, please. See, just to prove it, it says Oktoberfest right above my head. Much more beautiful than that except for that that's uh that's pretty beautiful too look at the size of that cake man i really hate saying goodnight to this place it's very strange that I have this like intense love affair with this just a just a man-made object. It's a sculpture at a theme park. Very strange indeed. I get this shot every single night I come out here. You guys know what to do next. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Leave a comment. I always answer all the comments. Make sure you subscribe to Detours. Click that red button. And when you're clicking away, click on that bell icon. It's a small bell. It gives you instant notification every single time I upload a brand new detour. You can be the first one to see it. Share this video with your friends. I don't care what you do with it. Check me out on social media. I'm on Instagram at Derek Millen, D-E-R-E-K-M-I-L-L-E-N. It's right here in the bottom of your screen. On Instagram, I upload photos from where I'm currently filming a detour. You're going to see where I'm at about two or three days before I put that video up on YouTube. And as always, I'll catch you on the next detour.